Yo guys, what's up? My name is Jack2505. This is 2505 Gaming, and today we're going to be discussing Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 Spec Ops mode or Special Ops, which is at the moment a two-player co-op activity against waves of enemy AI and requires you to complete various mission objectives in the quickest time possible and of course survive. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the YouTube channel, follow me on Twitch, and join the Discord. In the main menu, which I know is not great, if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you will find the cooperative section, which is basically the Spec Ops menu. There are three missions available at launch, which are Low Profile, Denied Area, and Defender Mount Zaya. I have completed all three missions and gained three stars in the first and the third missions. I'm still working on getting three stars on the second mission. Once you select the mission, it's time to select your kit. There are three kits available, Assault, Medic, and Recon. Now, each class will have its own benefits once you level them up. Each class will have 10 tiers to unlock, and it's quite a grind to get there. The Assault class provides a team with armor plates, and it can hold more armor plates and has access to a juggernaut and many more Assault type equipment. The Medic class helps the team with quick revives, immediate revives with a revive pistol, has a self revive as well, bomb drone, tactical sprint, claymores, and AT mines in the backpack. The recon class provides a team with intel regarding the status of enemies, heartbeat sensors, lethal and tactical equipment, sentry gun, kill streak, and a spotter scope as well. So, as you can see, each class has something different to bring to the table, and it would be best to bring one of each into a mission. Because the mission involves two player only, it is crucial that you stick together and try and reach and complete the objectives as fast as possible. This video is an overview on the Spec Ops mode and I'll be looking to get each, each class to tier 10 and show you guys what a tier 10 class looks like and fully recorded runs of each mission when I can. With the raid coming up, you will be taking these classes into the raid so it will be very important to put some time into Spec Ops and it helps a great deal with leveling guns as well. In all three missions, they mainly include infiltrating a base, collecting an item, blowing up a piece of enemy equipment, defusing bombs, defending areas against waves or different types of enemies. Also, you'll have the option to purchase kill streaks, armor, self revives and pick up ammo from the base. One of the issues I have about the AI in Spec Ops is that sometimes they just appear out of nowhere. One minute the room is clear, the next minute AI is standing right next to you or hiding in the corner or around the corner. This is one of the main issues that I have with this mode. There doesn't seem to be a way to prevent the enemies coming out of nowhere, yet you can shoot them as soon as you see them running towards you, but sometimes when somebody just appears next to you, what do you do about that? Maybe this is something that the devs will need to look will need to look into i'll continue to play spec ops and make more videos on it and if you want to join me in spec ops make sure to join the discord follow the youtube channel and follow me on twitch as well this will also be the case for the raid now guys tell me what you think about the spec ops mode is this a mode that you can see yourself playing up until unlocking tier 10 on any kit will you be playing this mode to prepare for the raid let me know in the comment section below now, thank you very much for making it to the end of the video. My name is Jack2505, this is 2505 Gaming, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.